Okay, we ready? Dude, dude, you ready? You ready? He looks ready. He looks ready to me. I'm going to talk to you today then about a couple of things. I'm going to talk to you about focusing on users and their needs and why it's not a good idea to focus on competitors and features. So often I, I work with, I've worked with two types of companies, both types of companies over the years. And what's interesting and what I find interesting about both of those two organizations is their very different focus and the very different ways they approach the problem. Companies that focus on competitors and features spend a lot of their time and ask questions like, well, what are competitors doing? They've just launched this. This has just come out. Why has that come out? We've got to do this. We've got to be on parity with them about this. And the real challenge with that is they will always only ever be companies that follow. They will always only ever be companies that follow the competition. They will never be truly innovative in that field. They'll never really lead. Yet often these same companies are companies that have in their mission statement and vision statements state saying things like, we want to be the number one in this market. We want to be the leader in this. We want to 3x our revenue in X. And often those not brilliant vision statements are a reflection of who they're trying to look at. If you're framing your strategic win and being successful by your competition, by saying we are the best, then by your very nature, you're going to be focusing on what your comp competition are doing and not focusing really on what you should be focusing on, which is what your users need. And going back to basics and understanding truly what it is that people want from the product, the context that they are working and operating, what they need, what they, and most importantly at all, of all, kind of finding those unmet hidden needs that your competitors don't know anything about um, and designing and building products that meet those needs and that's the real secret to success for many organizations is not blindly copying or even just copying and improving what your competition are doing but going out and finding new niches and new opportunities within your users context in their real life by going out and doing research with them in their homes if it's a b2b business research with them in their places of work but just by going back to basics and understanding what it is your users need and building products around that, you're going to truly come across that next innovative idea, that ability to leapfrog your competition that you're simply not going to get by doing what your competition do and just doing it maybe or hopefully even better. I love the jobs to be done framework for doing this. Um, it's a fantastic way of identifying user needs and documenting them and sharing them across the organization. Um, and also within jobs to be done, there's a great way of framing yourself against your competition. So I'm saying keep an eye on your competition. I mean, obviously don't ignore them, but understand what it is that makes them successful and what it is that's going to make you differentiated and different from your competition so you can be more successful than them. Focus on users and needs. Don't focus on competitors and features. How was that little dude? Was that good? Was that good? That went well, I think.